let's examine this from a number of angles. First of all, what is the authenticity of these hadiths in which the Prophet ﷺ stated, Man kuntu mawla, fahada aliyun mawla. Is this an authentic hadith or no? This hadith of Ghadir is by far one of the greatest mutawatir hadiths we have in Islamic history. It is one of the hadiths that are so widely circulated amongst companions and scholars that it is one of the most widely circulated hadiths in the history of the religion of Islam. Both Shia and Sunni sources are filled with countless chains and paths for this hadith. In fact, there are a number of Sunni scholars who have written entire books examining the Senate of Hadith al Ghadir. Sunni scholars, they've written books, they've dedicated books just to examine the different chains of narration that we have for this very important hadith. So there is no shadow of a doubt about the authenticity of this hadith and that the Prophet ﷺ made a statement like that, like that. We have absolute certainty that he made this statement. Now notice the following about this event. First of all, nearly 100,000 companions were present when the Prophet ﷺ said this. Today, despite so many sources getting lost in history, we have 110 companions who have narrated this hadith, 110. Believe me, we don't have an issue in the religion of Islam, except like the oneness of God and the day of judgment, that has so many companions narrating it. Rarely do we have an event in Islamic history which has been narrated by 110 companions that has survived until today. According to Sunni standards, if you have 10 hadiths, from 10 companions, they consider that as a mutawatir hadith, a successive hadith that's just like the Quran in terms of giving you certainty that the Prophet said it. 10 in Sunni standards constitutes a mutawatir hadith. This has how many? 110. So there's no question about this hadith being a mutawatir hadith. 84 tabi'is, those people who did not meet the Prophet but they came right after him, they met the companions, they have also narrated this hadith, 84. Remember, this is what we have today, after 1400 years when so many things got lost in history. Until today, today we actually have the source for 110 companions and 84 tabi'is who've narrated this hadith. That's a mutawatir hadith. Al-Fakhr al-Razi, you know what he says, the very you know, top Sunni scholar, especially when it comes to the tafsir al-Quran. Al-Fakhr al-Razi states, I have gathered 400 turuq, paths to the hadith of Ghadir, 400. And then you know what he says in the end? وَلَكِنْ فِي النَّفْسِ مِنْهُ شَيْءٍ Allahu Akbar. Look at the blindness that Allah test some people with. He says, I have 400 sources for Ghadir, but it doesn't settle with me. There's something about it. My nafs doesn't accept it. You judge what, what's the fate of people like that. So this is an authentic hadith. Now some argue today, especially some extremists, they'll argue, yeah, but you know, this hadith is not in Bukhari. So because it's not in Bukhari, it's not an authentic hadith. There's a problem in this hadith. Why? We have all these chains. No, it's not in Bukhari. That's the problem. Subhanallah, if Bukhari does not mention a hadith that has 400 paths according to Fakhr al-Razi, Habibi, the problem is with Bukhari, not with the hadith of Ghadir. When he has avoided a hadith, which by the time of Fakhr al-Razi, centuries after it happened, a Sunni scholar says, I have 400 sources, 400. And yet Bukhari did not mention it. This reveals there's a problem in Bukhari, not in the hadith of Ghadir. But they twist it the other way. No, there's a problem in this hadith because it's not in Bukhari. In fact, <laughs> if you admit that, this actually reveals there's an issue with Bukhari himself. Such an important event. 
In his time, he probably had thousands of paths. Why didn't he narrate it? it shows you he, he has an issue with the truth. He has an issue with the event. Just like he himself, Fakhr al-Razi states. He says, I have 400 paths, but it just doesn't settle with me. So there's no doubt, according to all standards, intellectual, rational, to any science, that this is a sahih hadith. So this statement is by Fakhr al-Razi or? Which statement? By Fakhr al-Razi. Fakhr al -Razi. Bukhari doesn't mention the hadith of Ghadir. Fakhr al-Razi mentions it. Not only does he mention it, he admits, he says, I have 400 sources for it. However, it just doesn't settle with me. That, these are the statements of Fakhr al-Razi. Bukhari just completely ignored the hadith of Ghadir. And that reveals that he had a problem, not the hadith of Ghadir. If something is being narrated by 110 companions and you don't narrate it in your book, the problem is in you, not in the hadith or the event. So there is no doubt about the authenticity of Hadith Al-Ghadir.